The explosion rocked the Omaha Riverfront back in April and cost two workers their lives. Tonight, the price the cleaning company might have to pay. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Emily Zink. In for Jennifer Griswold, today OSHA came down hard on Nebraska rail car cleaning services, citing more than 30 violations. Reporter Kevin Bouton is live with the penalty and punishment. And tonight, that company faces a nearly $1 million fine. OSHA saying today the men involved in this accident were in danger from the moment they showed up for work that day. And today, the lone survivor of that accident says he had no idea what they signed up for. It's been rough. I mean, I have my days. Six months after the explosion that left Joseph Koshka dangling from the side of a rail car, he can't escape the memory of that day. I mean, honestly, it started off like a normal day, you know, and... Goshka, Adrian Lapour, and Dallas Folk were working on the tanker car removing natural gas residue with buckets. Lapour and Folk were inside the car. I had turned my back and to grab the bucket back up from my ground guy, and as soon as I started bringing the bucket up, I just heard the hiss and felt the heat. I mean, I actually had a burn stuff on my arm. I was that close to it, and... Yeah, I just remember him saying something about the ladder. The explosion sent the ladder leading into and out of the car, flying for 200 feet. Lapore was trapped. Folk flew with the ladder. Wednesday, OSHA announced the company the men worked for, Nebraska Railcar Services, committed 31 violations. It now faces a proposed fine of more than $950,000. It is unacceptable. Nebraska Railcar Cleaning Services expose their employees needlessly and they are not here today because of their actions. Koshka, a father of four with another baby due this month, says he often wonders why the explosion that killed two others spared his life. It's kind of weird how your mind works. You know, I'm hanging from the train car, and that morning I gave him a hug and a kiss, but I didn't her, you know, and that was really the first thing that popped into my mind, you know, hanging there. <laughs> you think that'd be the last thing, you know, but it wasn't. He says today's ruling brings a small feeling of justice for the men who died. I feel like uh, some justice is starting to be seen, you know, for these guys. And that's definitely my main concern. This OSHA fine is the second largest it's ever assessed in the state. There were so many violations that day. The owners of Nebraska Rail Car Services now face a criminal investigation. We've reached out to them for comment. They've yet to get back to us. Kevin Bouton, KMTV, Action 3 News.